Today I am discussing brute force design technique. Brute force design technique uh, is directly based on problem statement and definitions of the concepts involved. For example, if you want to find a power n, when a is greater than 0 and n is non-negative integer, we are required to multiply a n times. Similarly, finding factorial of a number is also an example for brute force. Multiplying two matrices is another example or searching a key for a given in a given list of elements. And these are the examples for brute force de design technique. Now we will see sorting algorithm that to uh, selection sort algorithm. So in selection sort algorithm, uh, the idea behind here is in the first iteration, the minimum element is searched and kept in the appropriate position. And in the second iteration, next smallest, iterate, uh, smallest element is found and kept in the second location. For that, uh, algorithm goes like this, vary the i from 0 to n minus 2, set minimum to i. For j equal to i plus 1 to n minus 1, you are required to perform this. If a of i is less than a of min, set minimum to j. Swap a i and a min. To trace this algorithm, I have taken this example here. There are five elements, n value is 5, a0, a1, a2 is 50, a3 is 40 and a4 is 10 here. So as it is in the algorithm, you have to set minimum to i. So therefore, i equal to, sorry, minimum equal to i, and that is minimum equal to 0. So a of 0 is 20. Now this element is to be compared with remaining all the elements of the array. For that reason, you are required to perform the inner loop from i plus 1 to n minus 1. So now 20 is compared with 30. So since aj, sorry, uh, aj is not less than a of me no change here also here also there is no change here you are finding the element less than a me so set minimum to this index now minimum equal to j that is minimum equal to 4 now a4 is swapped with a0 after the completion of the first iteration minimum is placed in the first location this is the resultant array after the completion of the first iteration. Similarly, you are required to do for the second iteration. So when you do like that, second smallest is kept in the second position. So here, uh, so finally, finally I used to be varied from 0 to n minus 2 that is 5 minus 2 is 3. So after the completion of this iteration, you can find the sorted array. In order to sort these elements, so in the first iteration, four comparison, second, three, third iteration, that is i equal to two, two comparison, when i equal to three, one comparison, total number of comparison is 10. This is nothing but sum of natural number up to 4, 1 to 4, that is now there are 5 elements, so when there are 5 elements, then 
in the first iteration four second three third two then finally one comparison in general if there are n elements in the array in the first iteration n minus one comparison in the second n minus two in the third n minus three finally one comparison so it's nothing but sum of natural number up to n minus one it's equal to n into n minus one by two that we'll see with the an uh, algorithm analysis <coughs> compare now in this uh, comparison is the basic operation performed in this algorithm outer loop i is varied from 0 to n minus 2 and the inner loop is varied from i plus 1 to n minus 1 therefore this is the analysis part so inner summation n minus 1 minus i plus 1 plus 1 that is upper limit minus lower limit plus 1 so when you simplify all these things the final answer what you are going to get is n into n minus 1 divided by 2 this belongs to theta of n square next we will see another example for brute force bubble sort in this exam in this algorithm the element is compared with the adjacent element so in case uh, like you know the order of the elements here so what is the order a0 must be less than or equal to a1 a1 must be less than or equal to a2 so on in case a0 is not less than a1 then these two is to be swapped so that is how you are performing here a j plus 1 that is a j is supposed to be less than a j plus 1 but a j is greater than a j plus 1 if that is the case you have to swap a j with a j plus 1 this is to be done like for i equal to 0 to n minus 2 and for j equal to 0 to n minus 2 minus i so after the completion of the first iteration the largest element is bubbled out to the last location now take this example here 89 is compared with the 45 actually this a0 must be less than a1 but it's not like that so you have to swap so when you swap the elements look like this again 89 with 68 so a1 is not less than a2 these two is fat again 68 and 90 these two are in the order no swapping is being done then 90 with 29 so this is not in the order so you need to swap 29 and 90 then again 90 is to be compared with 34 34 is less so interchange these elements so finally 90 with 17 so since 17 is less you have to interchange look at here after the completion of the first iteration the largest element is bubbled out to the last location similarly after the completion of the second iteration 89 second largest is bubbled out to the last but one location now we'll see the analysis uh, that you know like uh, uh, this is to be done from i equal to 0 to n minus 2 that is totally n minus 1 iterations you are required to carry out we'll see the analysis part of this here for every iteration comparison is the basic operation you are performing here so you need to count how many comparison is being made in this algorithm for that i is varied from 0 to n minus 2 and j from 0 to n minus 2 minus i 
so the same thing is written here when you simplify the inner summation you are getting n minus 2 minus i upper limit minus 2 to the limit plus 1 so simplified answer is n minus 1 minus i next uh, here i is to be i is taking the values from 0 to n minus 2 substitute that values here so this is again n minus 1 plus n minus 2 plus n minus 3 so on n n minus 1 minus of n minus 2 is nothing but 1 so 1 plus 2 plus 3 so on up to n minus 1 final answer that is sum of natural number up to n minus 1 terms is n into n minus 1 by 2 so this belongs to theta of n square thank you